bother you. You don't come to see your own brother. What do you want to nothing? Well, Pop, you finally saw the kid in action. Some circus, huh? Nice. Everybody says Steve's name. Novak, Novak, Novak. Three years I beg him to come to a game, see the boy play. You got a son with the legs like a racehorse. We're running for Miss America. He played like an angel. Ah, uh, stupid Polak. Forty years in this country, don't know from nothing. He sits there like a goat with a foolish smile. What? What? I ask one question. Why they jump on Steve? I told you it's a tackle. So, tackle. Don't have to jump. Jump is tackle. You go to Jersey City? Yep. And the job? No. Sit down, Steve. That was a good game. Good game, wasn't it? Eddie, you got a good story for your paper, huh? My boy. He's my boy. You should have seen those college scouts in the dressing room. After the kid like a pack of wolves. They want Steve? Want him. I tell him you got a proposition, put it in writing. We'll let you know. He sent Steve to college? Nothing. It costs nothing. Ah, uh, on the house. A good school for the studies, here? Sure. I'll let the offers pile up. In the spring is time enough. Leave it to me, kid. Steered you pretty good so far, haven't I? I make a prediction. I predict for the boy great fame and intelligence. You don't have to be so famous. Just enough he gets a little brains in the head. Don't grow up like his papa. <laughs> Drink to the boy. Everybody to the boy. <laughs> Okay, Pop, okay. Your mom always have dreamed for you to be educated, boy. And he's crazy with all this college talk. I can't go to college. What are you talking? You don't want to go? College is four years, Papa. They pay my expenses, that's all. It'll be four years before I bring a dime into the house. Since when you look to you to support the house? I worked for 35 years, I can work a few more. By him, I am old man. Joey, you are the big brother. You tell him. Look, I get my disability allowance. Nobody's gonna starve. You're going to college, period. Go, huh? For me. Go. This boy, you don't get. Hey, Papa, come on. <laughs> 28 beautiful colleges, count them, 28. You got some sweet offers. Tuition, board and room, free laundry, free books. Ties a hundred a month spending money. Jackson. How do you like that? Jackson, that fancy joint. You notice they don't mention anything as crude as money. They'd like to drop in for chat. It's one of the great schools in the world, Eddie. And their teams have been stinking up the South for years. Ah, forget it. A place like Jackson doesn't put cash on the line for players. Students they use, a bunch of amateurs. You go to a place like that, nobody will ever hear of you. You can kiss off your chances for All-American. All-American isn't everything, Eddie. All right, but look, you want a future, okay. Any street corner in America, ask a guy the name of his congressman. He can't tell you. But ask him who's All-American. That's the pass key. Hey, remember me? I'm the guy who spotted you when you were a little stinker who didn't know his way out of the locker room. Wrote the first stories about you. You're my boy. Next couple of weeks, I'll take care of these. You can frame the Jackson letter. Go on, beat it. Nankovic. Congratulations. Novak. It was quite a surprise getting your letter. 
I'd imagine you'd already signed with one of the big football schools. No, I, I guess I was waiting to see you. Well, ever since I was a kid, I've thought about going to a place like Jackson. Like someone like me, there wasn't a chance. I could never afford a school like that. In fact, the only way I can go to any college right now is on a football scholarship. I wondered if Jackson offered anything like that. None as a rule. But uh, there is an arrangement we sometimes make. Certain alumni, uh, we call them benefactors, will adopt a boy, pay his tuition, books, that sort of thing. Of course, such a boy would have to meet Jackson's standards. We're going to build a big outfit at Jackson. We got a great start. This boy, Wagner, all state center from Illinois. This fellow from West Virginia, Hausler. And you can't beat Preacher Tennant. He's a coach, that man. What you said about Jackson's standards, well, people get the idea of football players some kind of clown. In high school, I really studied. Well, I'm not afraid to crack a book. I'm not looking to coast through. I want to study. Engineering. We have an excellent engineering school. But uh, what we point to more often is the distinguished men we've produced. In fact, it's more than simply a school. It's a way of life. We'd like to have you with us. Why don't you think about it and write me? I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know who was here with Belfridge? Red Evans. He's on the coaching staff. Red Evans is a dumb slob. He can't even write his own name. Eddie, it stands to reason. It stands to reason you're committing suicide. You go to a joint like that and you're dead. Nobody will ever hear of you again. You want this Jackson. That's what you want? Man, you get filthy around this place. Everywhere you look, the place is crummy. Eddie? It's a filthy towel. They change it every Christmas. Eddie? It had to be Jackson. The only place you can study. It's not a factory. Football 24 hours a day. You sold yourself that line. Get wise. I'll tell you what you want. You want to be Joe College. You want to go to Jackson and make believe you're a rich little snob like the rest of them. It's a lie. Okay. You got a right to any college you want. It's your life. Take care of yourself, kid. Let me know how you make out.
You don't think of the Pacific as being cold, but it was. On Okinawa, sitting up on outpost, we used to put our arms around each other to keep warm. You sit there hugging some dog face, like he was the most beautiful dame in the world. Chicken coop. Grab yourself a side. Thanks. Hey, Wagner! Here, take this one. I just gonna sleep up top. Thanks. What do you want, Gene? Okay, Moose, here's your boy. Novak? Moose Wagner. Glad to know you, Novak. Right. He says he don't unpack until he sees you're really coming here. You heard of Wagner? Allstate, Illinois? The Chicago strong man? He bites the tops out of beer cans. Get off me, Gene. Hang this up, will you, Moose? Hey, guard? Center. Sonny here is an end. Hey, what you got in the box, Clayhorn? A saxophone, a clarinet. A musician. The boy is a musician. I don't play him much. That's nice. Right there for us. Yeah. You're in Italy, huh? That's right. What did you do in the Great War, Daddy? Well, I was only 15. My brother was in the 27th Infantry, though. Oh, yeah? Hey, when do we eat? Hey, Joe, come here. Meet the boy of the year. Novak, Joe Mestrovic. Pleased to meet you. Here's your guard. Yeah? Hey, Gene, let me some soap, will you? I haven't got any yet, Joe. Thought I'd get some soap. Right? I'll loan you some. Thanks. Hey. Hello, fellas. Yeah. Believe I belong in here. My name's Bob Whittier. Mestrovic. Pardon? Mestrovic. How do you do? Wagner? Clayhorn? How are you? Hello, Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Novak gets... Oh, hello. <laughs> there should be a bed in here for me. Yeah, take this one up top here. Thanks. That's glad. Hmm. Virginia Prep, a local boy, huh? That's right. Everything all right in here? I'm Jameson, student manager. Anything you boys need? Yeah, so. Ciao. Lunch in 20 minutes. The dining hall's in this building downstairs. Hi, you wit. Hi, Jamie. Uh, two local boys, huh? Yeah, we went to prep school together. That's nice. Freshmen meet in front of the administration building at 4 o'clock. See you there, boys. Promptly, please. Yeah. Great to have you fellows with us. Oh, yeah. Nice boy, huh? It's good, Joe. Yeah. Gotta be prompt. Yeah. The basis of life here at Jackson is a tradition which we call our honor system. You will find yourselves placed in positions of trust, bound only by your own honor. Any violations of this code will be judged by the honor board, chosen from members of your own class. Now, there are certain rules and regulations regarding freshman life. One... Freshmen will be required to carry matches and cigarettes at all times and to produce these at the request of an upperclassman. Two, freshmen will wear the dink at all times except in class and chapel. Three, football, eh? And engineering. Yes, sir. Ridiculous to assign me as your faculty advisor. I'm an English teacher. English. Yes, sir. What kind of engineering? Civil, chemical, or destructive? You'll take math, a language, science, chemistry, probably be best for an engineering major, and uh, literature. That will be my course. English one. 
And a dull and stupid course it will be, will it not? It will. Nevertheless, name? Novak. Position? Capback. Which size? 32. Two size? Nine. Name? Cleon. Position? M. Which size? 34. Over here, Steve. You know, I'm the fourth one in my family to wear this uniform, Steve. Moose, I'm the fourth one in my family to wear shoes. <laughs> you boys to meet Coach Preacher Tennant. I want to welcome all of you to Jackson. I won't be working with you this freshman year. Evans is the freshman coach. My job is a varsity. But I'm going to have my eye on every one of you. Because you boys are Jackson's future. I think you've got the makings of a great ball club. I want to see you sweat. I want a bunch of boys that can dig, dig, and dig. is going to be here before you know it. Groundskeepers do that. You just sort of keep an eye on it. You know what I mean? Anything you say. Oh, and uh, pay is $30 a month. Okay. And we've arranged a credit of $100 at Rudy's Clothing Store. Drop in there anytime you like. Thanks. How's work? Can I see you a minute? You sure can, son. Uh, right. Pass the potatoes, will you? I got to keep my strength up. I'm a working man. Once a month, I got to keep the soap containers filled in the field house. So let's not have too much washing. They got me and Novak on the lawnmowers. Where are you working, Clayhorn? I'll show Vista through the chapel on Sunday from 9 to 11. Every Sunday? Sure. You'll kill yourself. <laughs> Pass the bread, will you? Okay, boys, read them and sign them. What's this, I hereby swear that during the football season I will not smoke or chew tobacco. I will not drink any alcoholic beverage. I will be in bed by 10 p.m. I will not engage in extensive dating. How about this extensive dating? I, uh, Look, just sign the thing, will you? I just want to be sure. I mean, it raises a couple of technical difficulties. <laughs> I don't get smart.
Excuse me, boys. so that it's all very proper and you don't offend people. I never get it right. I'll get dressed. I'm starved. I was just going. All right, Melissa. Sit down, Novak. Make yourself comfortable. Go on, relax. I'm your benefactor, Novak. 
I'm down for 2,000 a year to support an athlete. Preacher Tennant isn't the kind of man who gets excited over nothing. He's excited over you. Says you're a scrapper. John? I like a boy who's not afraid to get in there and tear his guts out. I want to see somebody better than these fancy prep school gentlemen playing for Jackson. I'm fed up to here with gentlemen with their phony talk about the old school spirit and that slop about amateur sport. Amateur? The only amateur sport left in this country is hopscotch. And I wouldn't bet on that if the kids playing were more than five years old. John! When I was in school, we really played football five, six games a week. Used to soak our hands in brine, run barefoot over rocks to get in condition. Anything on your mind? Anything you need? No, sir, thanks. I'll be coming down to the games whenever I can make it. That's fine. Be seeing you. you're getting to be quite a famous man. Now, I should make it quite clear that I take no interest in athletics. Athletics. No interest whatsoever in football, basketball, tennis, bean bag, darts, or spin the bottle. <laughs> it would seem, therefore, that the only thing you and I have in common is the assignment. Have you read the assignment, Mr. Novak? Well, none of the Keats. I read the one about St. Agnes. Only one. Of course, you read slowly. What was your impression, Mr. Novak? I liked it. Did you read it all the way through? I read it ten times. Then it was late and I... Ten times. St. Agnes Eve. How bitter chill it was. The owl for all his feathers was a cold. The herald of trembling through the frozen grass. And silent was the flock in woolly fold. Numb were the beadsman's fingers while he told his rosary. And while his frosted breath like pious... You don't understand, Novak. You're supposed to stand there like a dumb ox while I make a fool out of you. Jackson. Hey, listen to this frog. Talks like he belonged to this house. 
like my father did, and two uncles. I'd be positively honored, Mr. Clayhorn. Thanks, but I'm not much of a dancer. Now me, Miss Summers, I'm not bad at all. Excuse me. The Honorable Justice John Fitzhugh. Hi, Whit. Hi, Melissa. Turner, Whit. Hello, Novak. Hello. Turner Wiley, Steve Novak. That's nice, Steve. Hi, how are you? The girls are dying to meet this big football hero. Why don't you turn him loose? Here's something over here, Steve, that ought to interest you. Big John Masters, All-American, 1915-16. Killed in action, 1917. He was a member of the Lafayette Escadrille. That was his jersey. No one's worn that number since Big John. sensitive here and there. You know, if you continue in this rather curious manner, I may be forced to give you quite a decent mark. It'd be a terrible blow to me, wouldn't it? And similar improvement in your other courses. Might be nice if you could keep this up. Well, I'll try. But there's football again in April and May. Spring training. Hard football. Because that's when it's pretty much decided who will be on next year's varsity. Of course. That's very important. But I'll try. jobs next year. Get that grin off your face, Red. I want to keep the varsity fighting for those jobs. Before they're through, they'll teach those freshmen what they got to learn. We start scrimmage tomorrow, Red. Your freshman team against the first team varsity. All right. Freshman ball on 40-yard line, first and 10. All right. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, men. This unbeaten freshman team has never played a varsity squad. Let's separate the men from the boys. All right. All right. Let's rock them and suck them. Watch 
You know twice as much football as these freshmen. Stop them. What's the matter, boy? Ball too big? Nice tackle. One, two, three, four, five. See that, Joe? Yeah, those balloons are getting tough, Gene. I got kissed on that one, too. Yeah, they're throwing a fist a lot of guys. Those guys are getting rough. They wouldn't get away with that in a game. It's no game. No referee. Stop them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Let's get him, Mickey. So special. Turner's getting a fraternity award. Man of the year. Man of the year. Did you ever see Turner Wiley Novak? <laughs> Man of the year. <laughs> I'll wait up for you. Don't bother. <laughs> That's a woman that is full of crazy ideas. Now it's painting. She got that from my wife, Rebecca. Well, I better get back. Yes, yeah, sure. I may not see you till fall, Novak. I just wanted to ask, what are you doing this summer? Do you need a job? I drive a delivery truck. Well, does that keep you in shape? I take care of myself. See that you do. Jackson's going to put a team on that field next year. Biggest year of your life coming up, boy. 
Now, if you need anything this summer, shoot me a wire collect. I'll be in McCabe, North Carolina. <laughs> I got a town named after me. <laughs> well, thanks. I better get back to my books. Yeah, now, take care of yourself, boy. and math, though. If they didn't post my marks, does that mean they're going to fix them up? I guess it depends on whether tennis going to use me next year. You'll use you. I got to stay here. My mother's so proud on here. It's the greatest thing in her life. <laughs> Stop worrying, will you? I don't suppose you'll have much time for reading during the summer, but in case you do, Whitman's Leaves of Grass you like with me. on the varsity. Now he begins to go. On the radio, picture in the newspapers, headlines, Novak, All-American. They will weep to see him how he runs. <laughs> against a second-rate ball club. A team you should have slaughtered by 70 to nothing. Smeared three times on the five-yard line with the 23 play. The strongest running play you've got. Monday scrimmage, you're going to learn to score on that 23 play.
boats around the gold posts and in. Jackson, since the late great Johnny Masters burned his way to all American back in 1916. <laughs> this is great. A little bit more wine, Manuel. Yeah. stadium this afternoon, but I was thinking about old Johnny, because I was watching a boy out there who brought back a lot of memories. Next year, Johnny's number, old 44, will be out there again when Jackson takes the field. It will be worn by Steve Novak. Steve Congratulations, kid. I gotta hustle for a train. Eddie, uh, Mr. McCabe, Eddie Abrams. Oh, yes, I've heard about you. Hello. Pardon me, Mr. McCabe. Certainly, Bobby. Clay and I are going over to see Gene. We can't get in after nine. I've got to go. Yes, run along, boy, but hurry right back here. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Eddie. Tell Pop I'm fine. Oh, yeah, I sent you a message. Don't stuff yourself with trash, he says. Eat solid food. <laughs> see you. Yeah, see you, Eddie. Fine boy. Jackson, man. You know, he actually went for that speech. Can't convince him he's only merchandise, goods on the market. I tried. In fact, I did everything I could to keep him from coming to this place. You did? You see, I got a strange notion talent ought to pay off. That's a kid that could have been All-American. He's not doing bad so far. Mm -hmm. It's second-rate company. So far, Mr. McCabe isn't doing bad either. Becoming quite a popular figure bringing glory to his state with a winning team, fine civic service. 
course, with a first-rate team, an All-American kid or two on it, you could grab yourself some national spotlight. I'd like nothing better for old Jackson. It takes more than hoping for it. You've got to have machinery, a lot of it. Anything you can't buy? How far are you ready to go? All the way. For instance, to begin with, some more big men for that line. And on Jackson's schedule next year, some top teams, really first-class football schools. To grab a couple of those, you'd have to start dickering right now. Yes. Be ready to pay off the right boys. So I've heard. No two-bit operation, Mr. McCabe. And that goes for a publicity campaign on a national scale with a staff that knows its business. Naturally. And when you're all through, there's no guarantee. You could still get your brains kicked out. Yeah, so I've been told. Why not stay over and talk? I can't. The paper's counting on me. I have to catch this train. There'll be a later train. Let's have a drink. It's funny. I flew 41 combat missions without a scratch. You'll be out there next year better than ever. There isn't going to be any next year. Go out there and get my brains kicked loose for what? For those drunken crumbs from the class of 98? I'll come back. For a hundred bucks a month, I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll go down on the mines, and the mines they pay. Beat it. Come and see me. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. Have a little drink with us. Joey, a glass for Eddie. Sit down, Eddie. Sit down. <sighs> a nice Christmas, eh? A nice Christmas. Later, you go down to Manuel with us. Everybody will be there. We sit, a little drink. Sing, maybe, eh? For brotherhood. For the spirit of brotherhood to be in this house. That's Drovi. That's Drovi. Good luck. Now we drink to the new head of public relations, athletics, Jackson University. What? Eddie, you're kidding. Quitting the paper? Couldn't turn down more money than I ever got in my life. Eddie is going to Jackson? <laughs> Eddie, that's, well, when do you start? About a month. That team of yours is going places, kid. Everybody goes to Jackson. Next, maybe I go to Jackson. <laughs> it's going to be like old times, kid. Yeah, Eddie. Steve, it's for you. Joey, tell Eddie about your new job. Well, it's a job. Forty bucks a week. Never mind. A machinist. Hello? What? Oh, hello, Wynn. What? A big honor, Wynn. Wynn? Hello. It's Melissa. Hello, Steve. Steve? Hello? I drove up with Whit and Bobby Randall. I'm in a taxi, little boy, but he's rich, so we brought him along. Whit and I were broke. Steve. Yeah? I want to see you. 
I can't tonight. I told T.C. I was visiting friends in Richmond. I have to go back tomorrow. Well... Okay. That's nice. That's a very nice thing to say. Steve, I'll meet you on the Jersey side of the George Washington Bridge, which says you don't live far from there. Oh, please, I'll see you sooner that way. I'm leaving right now. Hurry. McCabe gets what he's going after. They'll have one of the biggest teams in the country. And this McCabe, he likes Steve? He thinks he's pretty good. Anything wrong? No. Listen, Papa, I have to go to New York tonight. Honest, I hate to do this on Christmas Eve, but some people came up from school, and I have to see them. I'll get back early, I promise. I'll come to Manuel's. Wait for me there. Eddie? Yeah. He's car. I have to go back tomorrow. If he calls Richmond and I'm not there, he'll go wild. No, don't. What's wrong? Nothing. I want to talk. What's home like? Small town, Jersey. Family? Father and brother. My mother died when I was little. I don't remember mine at all. Did you like it where you grew up? I guess so. I hated it. We were poor and I hated it. Then I went to live with T.C. I was 12. With T.C. and Rebecca, his wife, my mother's cousin. She's dead now. It was wonderful living with him, having everything I wanted. Melissa. Please don't. I love to watch you play. I've often wondered how you feel when you're in a game. When you run, you seem so sure of yourself. And alive. Is that the way it feels? Sort of. That's rare these days. What? Somebody all in one piece. We'd all like to feel like that. Melissa, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. You think it's all wrong? What? You and I. I think it's very nice between us. But you're afraid it won't stay that way. Why do you say that? The cave won't let it stay that way. That's not true. There have been a lot of boys, haven't there? Lots of schoolgirl crushes, if that's what you mean. And not one of them ever mattered. Of course, they all did. For the time, for a moment. Until McCabe started to treat them like he does Turner Wiley. Turn them into something cheap and foolish, something to be ashamed of. You don't understand. It isn't as though he's mean or small. I'm the only thing he has in the world. In his way, he's only trying to hold what he needs desperately. I know that. I love him very much. And when the thing comes along that you really want... Then he'll understand. He'll have to understand. Let's go back. You have to be home. All right. Will I see you back at Jackson? Yes, of course. Where will you be? I don't know. Home. It's only a few hours' drive from Jackson. I may be going to Mexico. There's a man there, Menendez. I talked about studying painting with him. Now T.C. wants me to go. He wants me to go now, he says, because he'll be away on business a lot the next few months. But I don't want to go right now. I won't. Then will I see you? As soon as I can. I'll get in touch with you. Well, so you read Balzac and Dostoevsky. It's a holiday well spent, sugar. Tell me about the reading. Interesting or something of a chore? Well, it's kind of exciting. You mean uh, the stories? Well, that, of course. But I meant the characters. They're alive. They're, they're real. And true. 
how would you know? Because the people you recognize, you can say about them, I felt and done exactly the same thing. That was the genius in those men. Their hunger for the truth. To describe the world as it really is, the sickness, the corruption, as well as the beauty, the bad and the best of us. Therefore, as you read, you see yourself as you really are. And that can be a very unpleasant experience. Most of us manage to avoid it. I guess we do. Maybe your old friend Keats had something when he said simply that beauty is truth. And truth, the only lasting beauty. And of growing up in a man, like genius in a writer, is the ability to look deep inside himself and to look honestly at what he finds there and to say this is the truth. This is what I really am. Don't um, let your tea get cold. Uh, no, Mag. Mind if I walk along with you for a few minutes? My name's Kepler. I'm athletic director down at Tech. I know what they're paying you here, son. I owe it to yourself to consider every proposition that comes your way. We want you, Tech. Now, here's the deal. All expenses and 100 a month. You're cinched to win the conference title. You get $500 for that, plus five bucks a point for everything you score. You don't have to say yes or no. Think it over for a while. I'll be in town for a few days at the hotel. Drop in and see me, huh? Thought you'd never get here. Needed a couple of days to clear up some business. Sure, take your time. Out of 24 hours, you won't have a football team. Well, where do we stand? Kepler offered Hausler already a month. He's ready to sign. All right, let him go. You're crazy. You heard me. Let him go. You can figure my resignation as of now. What's the matter with you? There are plenty of good boys around. Not in Hausler's class. And what makes you think it's going to stop with Hausler? There have been 20 coaches down here like vultures. They're offering Novak everything but Grand Central Station. How much does a half-decent college make each year in football? Hundreds of thousands. Who deserves a hunk of it more than the ball players? Why should they beat their brains out for glory? All right, all right. What do you think we ought to do? Pay them a decent wage. You don't expect the boys in your mills to work for nothing, do you? It's not so simple. They're the trustees. That's your headache. I've heard of Kepler hijacking a boy off a of campus without giving him time to pick up his clothes. All right, tell Tennant I said 80 a month for the top boys. Use your judgment about the others. 100 a month. All right, 100. Who are you working for, me or them? Glory. I'm working for Glory. Come in. Abrams, talk to you. Yes. I don't want to hear any more of this nonsense about pulling out. We're going to take care of you here. I wasn't thinking about pulling out. House was staying. We've arranged things to make him happy. We've arranged a lot of things. Abrams is bringing some magazine writers down from New York. We'll throw a little party for him here Saturday night. He'll be here. Okay. If that's all, I better be going. I want to talk. I don't want to sit in this morgue and stare at the walls. Sit down. Melissa's in Mexico. Or did you know that, Novak? Painting. Suddenly got it in her head she wants to paint. It's always something. Now she wants to come back. That's the trouble with that girl. She can never finish anything. I told her this time she was to stay down there and finish. You agree, don't you, Novak? I have to go. It's late. All I'm asking you to do is sit here. Now, is that too much to ask? You wouldn't know this, of course, Novak. But I have nothing on earth to live for except making a woman out of that girl. You should have seen her when she came to me. Skinny, rat-faced kid. I made a woman out of her. In this graveyard of a world, there's nothing beautiful except what a man can make grow. If you have to go, I won't keep you, of course. Good night, Novak. Knoxville and Lee 
he got himself a pro contract for 20,000. 20 grand. We had a pretty good season. Had a fine season, but it wasn't against the right call opposition. We're ready now. We're negotiating with half a dozen of the toughest teams in the South. We're still building this team. What kind of pictures have you got? Hello, Melissa. Hello, Whit. How are you? Okay. When'd you get back? This morning. Some good action stuff of Novak. Let me have it. I think I'll be able to use it. Let me have this boy for a while, sure. Come on, Steve. How you doing, Joe? Fine, Mr. McCabe. Steve, I want to ask you to do something for me. Melissa flew in this morning from Mexico without telling me. I want her to go back down there and work on a painting. If she says anything to you, you tell her you think she ought to go back. Will you do that? Leave us alone, Melissa. I want to speak to Steve. When we finish. No, now. At least I could have written to you, couldn't I? It's all right. I know. I said I wouldn't go. But then I decided I ought to. I understand. After a few months with Menendez, I decided it was a waste of time. I wasn't getting anywhere. TC wants me to go back. Is that what he was telling you? Yes. Do you think I ought to go back? I wouldn't know. I'd better get inside. Just a little too much. Let it come down even. Knock off. 
get some sleep. It's one o'clock. season. Kentucky Tech, Tennessee A&M. We had to take them when we could get them early in the season, one after the other. In a few days, we'll announce it. Then we'll have some alumni dinners all over the state. I want these old grads to meet you boys, stir up some excitement for next season. Every important man in the state will be at those dinners, man who can do you a lot of good. How many days will I be away? Oh, just a few Fridays and Mondays. The first dinner's in Norfolk this weekend. I'll drive you down myself. Now relax. Marks, are they on the level? What do you think? I didn't do that well. You must have talked to Blake and the rest of the props. Well, next year it's going to be different. I'm going to work. This publicity campaign was something special. I had to. Of course. Well, good luck. Novak. Why don't you come back a few weeks early in the fall? Maybe I can work with you. We can go over some of the things you've missed and get you prepared for next year. It would be wonderful. I mean, we've got these banquets right through summer until school opens. I see. Well, goodbye. Good luck. I said that before, didn't I? Joe moves a skull, huh? You're right with it. Okay, dude. It's time to shove off. You know, train in 20 minutes. Thanks, sweetheart. How are you, Oscar? Fine. Come on, Clay. Get untangled. I'll write you every chance I can. When I have to see you, what will I do? Do you love me? Say it. I love you. That's good. I need that. I need that very much. Oh, 
answers waiting. same way you do. If you carry out your assignments, they'll go down. Even the man with the big number three on his chest. All American cotton doves. Do your job. Nothing more or less. Do your job. 
Let's go. It's anything serious. Probably wrenched it. Just take it easy for a little while. Fine, he'll be all right. How is it, Doc? The broken bones have closed the air passages. Get a helmet with a bird gauge on it. We'll murder him next year. Okay, coach. Not bad. It's hard to tell without x rays. Can you play? Better if he didn't. How are we doing? We can't seem to get going. Take it easy. Why don't you try a little Novocaine, Doc? Playhorn, you're knifing in every time. Let's get these on. Now, look, kid. Help me, will you? Hold that just a minute. I'll give you something to take away that pain. Take a couple of these. I'll see you Monday. Get home now and get to bed. I asked you to wait. Is it bad? All right, let's let the boy get dressed. Are we 
even drive you home. But he'll see that he gets back. Come on, Rose. Made him look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame. Novak could go on playing and nothing might happen. On the other hand, he might have that separation pulled apart far enough to give him a bad shoulder for the rest of his life. Well, that's it. Come back this afternoon, Novak, and I'll tape you up. It was a mistake to send you there. I've been a coach for a long time. I love the game. I never willingly hurt a boy in my life. All right, Tennant. job. Without Steve, I'd be lucky to win one more this year. Don't you want to play next week, Novak? I can't play. The doctor didn't say that. Okay, so the kid could cripple himself for life. He said there was some risk involved. There's risk involved every time you go out in the field. Okay, then I don't want to play. You're overtrained, Novak. You're all tightened up. I'll have my doctor look at you. We'll get a special brace made for your shoulder. You'll go in there next week and run wild. We'll have reporters down from all over the east. It's no use. Your shoulder will probably stand up fine. Next year, we'll have a schedule like we never had before. You'll have a chance for all American, a chance to be somebody, write your own ticket. What kind of a sucker do you take him for, McCabe? Who wanted to see him in the big time? Who had the big dream for Novak, the local boy? Okay, so now I'm awake, and the dream was cockeyed. A dumb sports writer's dream. Because I left out everything that really mattered to the kid. That's why now he's going to play. Not for old Jackson or any of that swill, not for T.C. McCabe. He's going to play for himself, because there's nothing else he can do. What are you without football? For two years, we fixed your mark so you could coast by. 
You can't meet the competition of men who've really worked at their books. You won't be able to get a job through pull either, because in another year, nobody will remember you. You're not that important yet. You're only beginning. You'll be just another poor slob that used to play football. Get out of here. You'll play. There's nothing else you can do. Lay off for a few days, Novak. Get yourself some sleep. It'll do you good. Come on, kid. He's right, Eddie. What's the difference if he is? Unless I play, I'm nothing. Well, you're back where you started from. You haven't lost anything. Just three years. I've lost three years. Osler. Yes, coach? Get him, will you? On the brace. Hard. Myself. Right formation, 23 play. On three. Peel.
rest a while. I'm through. Can't play anymore. I'm glad. It's not a game anymore. Not what I loved when I was a kid. Business. You don't get paid. Clayhorn. Kick him out like a dog now. Dog eat dog. Can't we go? Just a few more minutes, kid. Hello, Professor. Well, no, Beck. Hello, Professor. Well, anyway, you'll finally get some time to study. Must be an easier way. No doubt. I mean to learn. I want to be a Jackson man. That's only natural. To be a sucker? To want to belong. The dream. The dream to be accepted and secure. Babe in arms, wasn't I? Once you know it's a dream, it can't hurt. Once you really look at yourself... Truth is beauty. It was a nice talk we had that day. You know, you could get a lot of good out of Jackson now, Novak. No. There are many good things here. You've already grown more than you know. No. I'm sure they'll want you to stay. Maturity case? Well, <laughs> let's call it industrial insurance. No, I don't want to be here. I want to get away from everything connected with this place. Hand me my shirt. Let's get out of here. Hi, Steve. I just looked for you at the hospital. You know anybody who needs an old sweater? The gang's down in Merv's. Be nice if you stopped in for a second. I'd rather not. Is Clay there? No. The team wanted to see him tonight. Nobody knows what it's about, though. First time I laid eyes on you, I knew. You're an honest slob, Novak. Guys like you always learn the hard way. Talk around for you, Novak. Open the way, Eddie. What is it? From Joey. Your papa. Heart attack. He died this morning. Steve, don't. Why not? I never wanted to tell you about my home before. 
I can now, and it's good. No. Are you hungry? No. 
Are you all right, kid? Joey, I quit school. You're through, huh? Everything? Did they hurt you? My shoulder. The doctor That's said... That's not what I mean. Sure. Sure, I took a beating. Joey, I want you to help me. I want to get a job. Maybe you can get me one with you at the shop. Can you do that? Is that what two years of college was for? To wind up? No. I need a job while I finish school. I'm going to finish. I can do it in night school around here. Or New York. I'm good for nothing and the family's enough. Okay. Sure, I'll help you. An educated man. My little brother is an educated man.